Let's go to D, who's calling from Lucasville, Ohio, and D supports the shutdown. D, good morning. Morning. Um, I heard on the TV last night that there's another caravan that's forming, and they're on their way up here, and there's 15,000 in this uh, caravan. Now, they're not coming for jobs. That's the reason E-Verify would not work by itself. They're coming for welfare because Mexico offered them all jobs, and they turned it down. They wanted to come to America where they could live free. And our, our country is ruled by judges and illegals anymore. We're turning into a socialist country. Almost every socialist that ran in the last election got elected. And I also heard on TV on one of those Waste Watch shows that we're pay that the Defense Department is paying ten thousand dollars for toilet lids and a thousand dollars for a coffee cup. Now that is pure wasteful if that's true, and I did hear it. So they should uh, by cutting the government. Why don't they just cut so much off of everything and? Uh, uh, not to, and or make a law that they can't borrow any more money. They got to live on what they get take in, and that's the way I wish they would do it. We take in a million legally every year. I think we should not take any in illegally. Let them come in legal, and we take in a million a year. So I think that's a plenty. And 63 percent of the the, the um, immigrants that come in here, I heard that on the Waste Watch are on welfare. Now, that's over half of them. So, so, you so can, you, what, I, can, I can't even imagine how much it's costing taxpayers. Why don't you have somebody on your show that tells all the um, expenses that we're in with the, uh, with the uh, immigrants? I wish you would do that. You have on everybody that tells how great it is and how, how good it is and how we need them so bad. You never have anybody on to tell you the expense of keeping these people, 63% of them, on welfare. Let's go to Judy, who's calling from Oklahoma, and Judy supports the shutdown. Judy, good morning. Yes, I think that the, we should shut it down. And just like the woman right before me said, what are you going to do with all of these illegals coming over here? That's 15,000 on their way over here, and they'll pick up many more thousands over here. And, yes, we're, it, we could get the $5 billion for the wall to stop a little bit of this, but, no, we're, going, we're paying over more than and five billion dollars to feed all these illegals, like the lady said just before me, and then now Putin Pelosi, she's wanting to hire and make the government bigger and pay more money out to hire a bunch of lawyers to try to get rid of Trump, and Trump's the only one in there that's trying to help our country right now, stop all these illegals. You know, like at California, they're saying it's okay to have illegals. All those, a lot of those illegals are going to be coming over here to my state, Oklahoma, because they say they're all okay. I don't want these illegals over here that kill people, go out and murder people, steal people, break into people's homes. What's wrong with the Democrats? The, uh, Obama lied all through his, all through his campaign about the the, uh, the health care and everything else. I I just got put through looking on your TV that you put on there, 7,480 some uh, lies that Trump said. My God, well, how many lies did uh, all I did? All the time Obama was on there, all he did was lie. And then when they passed the health care, where was Pelosi? Oh, don't bother to read it. Just sign it, and then you can read it later. And all you stupid Democrats out there just signed it, passed it, and then what did you get? You have all of us people, all them people out there paying way for more insurance. My daughter and her husband, my land, you up there... Uh, health care over twenty five hundred dollars just for that, and then by the 
time they upped the what she had to pay at the doctor's office on top of that for uh, the, the that was extra on that they raised theirs around five thousand dollars a year oh you want to talk about how trump do you think this lied he's trying to save all the people and try to save the people first in it in the united states let's go to louise let's, let's go to louise who's calling from tacoma park maryland and louise is a federal worker louise good morning Good morning, and thank you for taking my call. I can't believe what I just heard. Three people in a row talking just absolutely crazy. They must be listening to Fox. I listen to Fox, too, because I'm a Republican. But I'm tired of the lies. And for our people to think that the president we got now is not a liar and lies every day, this crazy. Cutting down for him to shut down the government, which he said he would be proud to do, and he did it. He is forcing Republican people who work for the government to be without their jobs, too. How dare he say that only Democrats are suffering from his crazy shutdown? Now, we, I, I voted for George Bush, and I think that I also know that many of the Republicans know that this man is crazy. They know that he's set up there looking like he's out of his mind all the time. And the people that say that he is looking out for us, they are sitting out there dumb, and I hate to say it, but they sound like they are, are ignorant. They must just sit and listen to Fox all day long because they just lie, lie, lie. Now, there's so many lies. So what if, if somebody else lies? If they lie for your benefit, they're still lying. Now, that man, you so-called Christians out there in the, in the Midwest, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Shame, 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 shame. Uh, I want to just uh, let... Uh, the viewers know here. Here's the story that there, those previous two callers, not the last caller, but the previous two callers were talking about. Uh, and this comes from the San Diego Union Tribune. Another migrant caravan with estimates of as many as 15,000 participants is preparing to leave Honduras on January 15th, according to migrant rights advocates and Spanish language media. They say they are even bigger and stronger than the last caravan, said Irma Garrido, a member of the migrant advocacy group Reactive Tijuana Foundation. Meanwhile, thousands of Central American migrants from a caravan that left Honduras in October remain stranded at the U.S.-Mexico border and languishing in crowded Tijuana shelters while they wait out a lengthy process to file asylum requests in the United States. So I just wanted to read that so we would know a little bit about what those previous two callers were talking about. Let's go to Mike, who's calling from Akron, Ohio, and Mike opposes the shutdown. Mike, good morning. Mike, are you there? I do believe, am I still on? Yeah, we hear you. Go ahead, Mike. Oh, okay. The hero in all of this can be none other than Wayne LaPierre of the NRA. If you are a card carrying member of the NRA and a fan of Wayne LaPierre, I have a bit of advice for you. Get in your pickup truck with the gun racks loaded up with AK-47s. Call all of your friends of their pickup trucks and have your own caravan after a caravan going to the Mexican border. There's more than a million people I know. I see these ads on TV from the NRA, the last line to defend democracy. Well, why don't they put on the front line, put themselves on the front line of the Mexican border with their pickup trucks and gun racks and AK-47s? There's more than a million people who belong to the NRA. And, you know, what could possibly go wrong? And this could be like a mea culpa. I'm sure they're embarrassed by the fact that one Russian woman infiltrated uh, their organization a few months ago. Well, this could be a way to make up for it. And Will Pierre should lead the way. He could have Rush Limbaugh as his wingman and Coulter as his wing woman. And maybe he could contact the Secretary of Small Business, Linda McMahon, and her husband, Vince McMahon. We could have a wrestling match between Ann Coulter and that Russian girl who infiltrated the NRA. I would pay big money to see that wrestling match, and lots of other people would be to Wayne LaPierre and RA, please come to the rescue. I beg you. You can do it. What could possibly go wrong? Let's go to Mario, who's calling from Lebanon, Ohio, and Mario supports the shutdown. Mario, good morning. Yes, good morning. If you allow me two quick points. First, um, thanks to C SPAN for having the 2009 speech from Chuck Schumer, and I would urge you, as a public service, to re air it at least once a day during a Washington Journal, where you have Chuck Schumer himself in his own voice 
um, going through and actually making the case for why they, we should have strong borders and actually have a just legal immigration process as opposed to illegal immigration. He even goes ahead and uses the word illegal immigration and illegal aliens, not the popular or word that they're trying to use now, undocumented. Secondly, um, Trump, I would advise him to actually go out and just visit every funeral now that is coming up. Just in the last two months, I think he had someone released from New Jersey who ended up on a killing spree or something in Missouri. You had someone in California who ended up crashing into folks that they had to release. The, the very sheriff's de uh, deputy was saying that they had to release someone because of government policy, didn't hand them over to ICE, and he went off on a killing spree. This was just a few weeks ago. And now you have the situation with Ronell Singh, also in California, a public peace officer who was out there, came here as a legal immigrant, and was killed by an illegal immigrant. I mean, you literally can just have Trump just hold out and just go to funeral after funeral because it's literally happening at a, at a furious clip now. And those are my thoughts. Let's go to Sam, who's calling from Atchison, Kansas. And Sam opposes the shutdown. Sam, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for taking my call. Um, are you still there? Yeah, we can hear you. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I got four points really to take and make. Uh, let's take and give Trump Sam, his five. Let me tell you, you have to make them quickly because we have only a few minutes left to go on the show. Okay. Uh, let's give uh, Trump his $5 billion for his wall, but in return, let's take and have him take and give up that Trump or that uh, Twitter account for good. Give, give, give and take. Let him have something. Let us have something, too. I got another point, too. The taxes on or the uh, politicians, they should wear on their lapel who is sponsoring them. Because in order to get reelected, they got to give so many uh, people to give them money and stuff. By the time they get up there to, to Washington, they, they don't have any room to take make any decisions because it's already bought and paid for by whoever gave them money. The number, the number two is... The population, we understand on this, this show that you've got here, very much of the population doesn't understand how the government works. I think we should take and give a tax break for people to go back to school to learn how the government works. How can you be a responsible uh, uh, voter if you don't understand what you're voting for? You know, if all you're doing is watching somebody's name on TV and that's, that's all you're making your opinion on, let's take and get real with this. That's all I have to say. We would like to thank all of our callers and all of our guests who joined us today for Washington Journal. Be sure you join us again tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. for another edition, and have a great Saturday.